We're here because striped bass is just, it's the fish. Let everyone be aware of how important this species is for us. So we need to really understand where these fish are going, their migra migration patterns, and understand how, how big these fish are growing year by year. And we need to save striped bass for our kids. Striper Quest and the Northeast Striped Bass Study is a project of Gray's Fish Tag Research and the Fisherman Magazine. What began in the spring of 2019 with a pair of mini pet satellite tracking devices deployed into post-spawn striped bass in the Lower Hudson River has grown into the largest single day of striped bass tagging in the Northeast. On May 16, 2024, in addition to deploying wildlife computers pop-up archival transmitting tags into New York Bite striped bass, our study team and sponsors opened the event up to the public with 25 boats participating and over 80 gray streamer tags deployed. Yeah. Get that one in. That fish That's, in the water. All right, get it back in the water. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. yeah. It's finally here, the day is here. This is the 2024 Gray's Fish Tag Northeast Striped Bass Study. This is the sixth year. It is. Right guys? The sixth year we've been tagging striped bass to understand more about their migratory patterns. So what we're looking to do is expand the research. We know from our last six years that the size of the class that we're um, tagging are migrating further offshore than many had believed to be true. So that's been exciting and uh, remarkable information. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this micro pat and look to study a smaller class fish, maybe a 25, 26 inch fish, and see if that migration is a different migration than what we're used to seeing. And what's amazing is the public is now involved. This has been a fascinating thread of information over the last six years that, you know, has kind of surprised many of us. We never thought ever that striped bass, many of us didn't think that they actually, some of them, go out to the canyon. And now we're starting to see a panic, a pattern. We're learning things. We're uncovering, you know, the secrets of the striped bass every time we do this. It's, it's valuable work. It requires tremendous resources given the cost of these. And so, employing the public to get involved, more sponsors is really what's gonna make this grow. We have uh, 25 boats joining us this year, so that's 100% more boats than we had yes. last year. So last year we tagged 200 striped bass, this year let's hopefully we tag four to 500 striped bass. So that data that we collect is data that we build on year after year, and we open access it. There's no other program like Gray Fish Tag. Other, we open access everything. The other good thing that I was gonna say is we keep talking about the satellite tagging, the tracking devices that we've been putting in fish, but now this opening of Stripe Request to get more boats, putting more of those spaghetti tags in. Gray Fish Tag Research has been doing stuff around the world for so many years with rooster fish and tuna and billfish, but the striped bass tagging has become something brand new and robust. We have over 2,000 stripers tags? Yeah so, yeah, so last year our program tagged uh, 4,300 fish That's as a 43. whole. Yeah, 76 species in all, but the striped bass for three consecutive years has been our top tag species. Last year we tagged 2,100. 2,100. It's not just a project which started in 2019, but now it's a tournament with a project with a whole goal of getting more data. Uh, I mean, if you're thinking about it in 2024, you, you really got to write it down for 2025 because this is going to be a big event. We're going to grow this out. I'm we, convinced. And we can't thank the guys here at Ross Brewery sure. enough. Dave Vasberg's been, every sponsor that's here and part of our group has been with us since day yes. one. Not one has left us. They're all here still. And that's the only way we can yeah, do this and, work. And, and you know, if I, if I can wrap up, I would really encourage other manufacturers, other, you know, anglers who care for the striped bass as passionately as we all do and get involved. If, if this fishery is important to you and it's important to your business, right. you need to get involved. It's fantastic information to share with uh, uh, the industry, just the, the, the sport fishing industry, to know what it is that's going on and for to have all these different types of anglers understand what these fish are doing. It just brings everybody into the community into it and makes it better for the fishery, um, the conservation part of it, releasing these fish. Um, it's going to make it more plentiful for the future.
The NOAA Marine weather forecast for Stripe Request 2024 was a bit sporty, but with participants literally coming in from all over the world for a single day of striper fishing, tagging, and competition, we knew the show must go on. While the forecast itself may have limited late entries into the Open to the Public event, the 25 boats that did participate truly showed both the angler and industry commitment to the Northeast Stripe Bass study. That's how you not drag up a bit. Hooked up again, you get second fish. These fish are just scattered in small packs, one to five fish. Maybe, uh, so we'll see what we got. We need a 42 inch total length or bigger fish. Ooh, there she is up on top. Just stuck her back out of the water. Oh man, big girl. Yeah, be the right one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Good to go. Healthy looking fish. This is the sat tag, so it's touch water. So it is doing its thing now. So we're gonna give her a second. And there she goes. All right. Nice, dude. Mission accomplished. Top tagging crews for the day was Captain Guy Buono's crunch team with 18 stripers caught, tagged, and released. This was followed by the Penn fishing team aboard Captain Dave Shunky's Fish Circus with 13 stripers that day, uh, putting him in second place. Now, a striper quest team was thrilled to award the third place to members of the public. The first time tagging team of Tom Streel, Ryan Anderson, Michael Zedek, and Chris McCormick aboard the Old Dirty Basser, who tagged 11 striped bass in the tough, tough northeast condition. Hey there, I'm Captain Greg DeMello with Andreas Toy Charters. Gray's Fish Tag Research top tagging captain in the world for the 2023 season was Captain Greg DeMello of Andreas Toy Charters, who was responsible for tagging 391 fish with streamer tags. Sometime this fall, we hope to hear more about the sat tag stripers, where they went and how far. And with over 2,100 striped bass fitted with gray stream tags in 2023, up from 1,394 the year prior, our Northeast Striped Bass Study team is well on their way toward a banner 2024.